Welcome to Tentaroo Ninja Training. I am going to show you how to register for events in Tentaroo, including how to start a new registration, view and manage your current registrations, and download reports. You can do all of this from a desktop, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. First, let's add a new registration. From your council's website, click on a registration link or on login and enter your credentials. For instructions on creating an account, watch the Getting Started in Tentaroo video. If you clicked on a registration link, you will go directly to your event. If you clicked on login, you will see your account's home screen, which will show you a list of your group's upcoming events. To start a new registration, click on the Events button on the left sidebar menu. Events are sorted into four categories. Available events, which are upcoming events that are open for registration. All upcoming events, which are available events plus events that are not currently open for registration. My Events shows upcoming events that your group is registered for. This is the same list that shows on the home screen. And My Past Events, where you can see your group's previous event registrations. Let's go back to Available Events and start a new registration for Summer Camp. I'm going to click on Tentaroo Summer Camp to find the available sessions. The session I want is Week 3. When I click on my session, I can see how this registration is set up, such as current rates, important dates, available classes, and products. Some registrations will be asking for a number of spots, which is like buying tickets to the event. Others ask for each individual to be named right away. Most summer camps and this summer camp go by spots early on and then ask for individual names for those spots later. Click on Register for Event to launch the Registration Wizard and complete the available steps. Not every event has all of these, but I will show you all possible steps in each wizard. First, we have the Spots page. You can use the plus and minus buttons to change the quantities, or you can type a new number into the box. Click Next for the next step. Available options and classes that apply to the whole group appear here. Sign your group up for any of these by clicking Add Option. Next is Products. To order products, use the Quantity drop-down and click Add Product. These will be added to your shopping cart and will appear on your invoice. Click Next to continue. Now we have Campsites. Here you'll enter your top three choices for campsites. And last, the confirmation page. Here you'll see your total event fees where you can select to pay the minimum required amount, pay the full amount, or something in between. Click complete to add the registration and payment to your cart. Your registration won't be final until you check out, even if no payment is due. The Named Participants section of this registration will appear below my Spots Summary. If Participant Registration hasn't opened yet, you can prepare ahead of time by going to Settings, then My Group, to Update or Add Members. Returning to my current registration, I'm going to add a participant. First, either select an available member from your youth or adult lists, or click on New Youth or New Adult to add a new participant. Adding a new participant here will also add them to your group. Let's add a current scout. Review their information and click Next. Select their participant type and click Next. The next step is Classes. A list of all available classes is shown here. To find a specific class, you can scroll through the list or use the magnifying glass to filter for the name. Type the name in the search bar, then click Add Class to add that to your schedule. Continue adding classes to your participant's schedule. When your participant's schedule is complete, click Next to continue. 
Review the payment details on the confirmation page and click Complete to add the participant to your cart. Add additional participants until your registration is complete. The last of our wizards at the bottom of the event registration page is the products wizard. You can order products here without going through the spots wizard. This is also how product ordering looks for names only events. The products wizard has two simple steps. Select your products and confirmation. Click complete to add your changes to the cart. Now that we have gone through each registration wizard, let's check out to finalize this registration and save my spots. Once you've entered your payment information, click Place Order to submit. Our registration is now final and all of our spots are secure. Next, we are going to walk through modifying an existing registration. From your group's home screen or from My Events in the Events section, click on an event your group is registered for. This will bring you to your group's registration screen. To make a payment, use one of the payment options here. If you click Pay Other Amount, type a new number into the box and click Save. This adds the payment amount to your shopping cart. Manage group registration options like spots by clicking Manage or Manage Spots. This launches the Numbers Wizard where you can change the number of individuals coming, the group options, your product purchases, and campsite preferences. Review your payment amount and click Complete to add the changes to your cart. To edit an existing participant, click on their name in the registration, click on Manage Registration, and then Edit. This will launch the Names Registration Wizard. You can then make any changes, click through all of these steps, and click Complete to add your changes to the cart. The last section is our Products Wizard. Click on Manage, make any changes, and click Complete to update your cart. Check out to finalize your order, even if no payment is due. Now let's look at reports. Once your group is registered for an event, a variety of reports becomes available to you. This includes invoices, which is available for all events, participant rosters for names events, various class schedules, both as PDFs and as spreadsheet exports, requirements reports for merit badges, and blue cards. Thanks for watching. We hope this helps you navigate the Tentaru system. If you have questions about your account or about event or facility details, please contact the Council for Assistance.